so it's the 2017 van build out party but what I wanted to do is say farewell to our beautiful time here at Blankenship Wash and we have a beautiful labyrinth that Cheryl my friend Cheryl built with my children it took them all day and evening and morning uh, to make it's absolutely beautiful and I don't know if they finished the the, the entrance here but um, yesterday I was gonna show you Cheryl actually found this or not this rock but a rock like this not it's just really beautifully painted and it has uh, Kathy on it and so I've been asking a couple of Kathy's around if she was the one that placed it but we found it and when you find it you place another one uh, in the same area where you found it well we found it when we went and picked up this bench in the middle of the desert we all carried it back with some wood uh, not desert wood disclaimer it's just um, ends of wood that you would buy from like um, Lowe's or something so people just left it out there and we use it for firewood because we wanted to clean it up so last night and night before we burned it um, we noticed there were people out there burning some of the native wood and trees to the desert and that's a big big no-no you don't do that and you bring in your own wood and you take you, you pack it in you pack it out well people didn't pack it out and so we packed it out for them and burned their little scraps so I was gonna say this bench here uh, Jeff actually found who is when he was hiking yesterday and then um, he told his wife Cheryl and she told the kids and they went and looked at it and we all went back and got it so I'm gonna show you our view uh, when you sit in the bench in fact I'll sit there now and show you the view we're facing the west right there so the sunset would be that way and when you sit on the bench you get this and in the evening time with the sunset it's the most spectacular view so how perfect is this and this is up on a plateau if you can see down there where our rig is it's the Atasca there you walk straight up here on this plateau where all the donkeys go in fact I wish I would have filmed the donkeys little dirt bath spots it's so cute the wild burrows out here but we've had a lot of people contribute to the labyrinth and it's just spectacular and I'm just gonna kind of walk around let you enjoy it and before we leave actually I think I'm gonna walk the labyrinth one more time so before I enter the labyrinth, I'm going to take off my shoes, so we did so. And this is the rock that we decorated because all we had was a sharpie and we have to leave today.
so we've made it to the center of the labyrinth and I'm going to place the stone that we decorated somewhere here in the middle. We're going to try to put it down in here. And there's, see how the quartz is topped up here? There's a piece down here that must have fallen. But I'm going to set it up here and balance it because that's where the quartz goes. In there. And I'm going to kind of try to put some other rocks around it just to keep it grooved in there. And there's some more quartz. Yeah, I'll go get me some nice looking rocks and I'll kind of put it around it. And remember, if you take a stone from the labyrinth, you have to replace it with three stones. Um, I'm just leaving one. I don't want to take one because I want to leave all the rocks and the minerals and everything in their natural element. I don't think they would thrive with, you know, with us in the RV. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'll be happy to know it's here with our stone. And, um... Looks like somebody put some quartz down. The kids did a lot of, of stacking. So I think we'll just leave it here. And um, looks good to me. Kind of pack some rocks behind it. There we go. So that's it. Um, now I'm going to exit the labyrinth.